So I took a little bit of a fruit break. And I learned a couple of things. First off, apparently you can hold ships hostage by being, like, right next to them. Or not really being right next to them, just like, the proximity. They will stay there forever and not try and do their trading routes yet. As long as you do that. Not that it, I don't think there's like an actual economy system, but it is pretty amusing to think that you're just holding this guy up. He thinks you're gonna try and interact with him. So he waits patiently for you. But I wanna see what uh what this is gonna do. He has 23 slots. It's actually not that super expensive. I just don't have the money for it. I don't think I'm gonna buy another ship for a while though. I think that if I ever upgrade um to a new ship. See, look at that, he's fucking gone as soon as I, I get back out. But as soon as I get a new ship, I want it to be something with a bigger upgrade. If it's gonna cost me millions, it needs to be worth doing that for, right? At least, in my opinion. I'm gonna check out this planet real quick. I'm gonna fly near it. See if it's gonna do anything. Whoops. Planetary interference. No, I wanna go back up. trying to see if there's anything amazing here. Because now I'm like right over the planet. And if it's not popping anything over right immediately next to the planet, then I, th I think it's safe to say there's nothing interesting here. But with that said, it's an interesting world. Giant ocean that I'm ne not gonna go into. I'll check out a little bit of the landscape. I've pretty much only been looking at, like, one planet per star system. And I really feel bad about that because I wanted to, like, look at every single planet per star system. And look at everything they could offer. But it didn't really fully happen. Alright, we have a trading post looking thing around here. They can't look down and look at! You just got to hope. Land me, please? Alright. Good enough. <laughs> I feel like I landed on top. Yep, I landed on top of something again. God damn it. Oh, there wasn't a landing pad here at all. All right, contaminated planet. Brother, reactive. Hmm. Well, if I build myself a bypass chip, I can actually look for monolith more directly. There. What do we got? Signal scanner online. We have a monolith, colonial outpost, transmission. Yeah, I'll look for both of those. Alien monolith! I'm gonna make another one. Damn it, no. I keep pressing X to, like, craft stuff, and it actually... You can craft stuff with X, it's just for the installation stuff. Your upgrades. Not exactly what I'm looking for. Alright. Are they gonna be both in the same direction? Yay! Fun! I don't know if it's gonna be... A uh, ship distress beacon kind of thing. I doubt that. Rapid fire for the reduces cooldown period between uses individual bolt caster shots. Ah, that's what that's for. Oh, look at that! It requires aluminum. Good thing I've sold hundreds of them. Whoops. It's all right. I don't need bolt caster upgrades yet. Although we are a little bit worried about some things. Just considering what happened to us a couple of planets ago. Uh, a three star, like, wanted rating. Alright. I'm gonna go out to the monolith, but first, I'm getting gold, because I like money. And we realize this is. This is gonna give me a lot of money. This is gonna give me more money than if I went for the aluminum. Maybe it's gonna even be as deep. I hope not. That'd be bad, right? I just descend far beneath the surface once again and break it. In fact, we're gonna test it immediately. Okay, yeah, it's not that deep. 
in comparison to things. I can make this like a little cozy home. And look at that! Stabilizes my radiation! <laughs> I have made a golden cave! Have a bit of a sunroof. I'm still working on figuring out where I'm gonna put the hammock, but you know, this works! It'll be interesting when they add base building. I wonder how they're gonna handle that. Because. It seems like a lot of the game design is fire and forget, right? You know that if you go to a world and you destroy all of its resources, it's not going to really have a big impact if another player goes there and finds it. But if you make a base, will that make people able to find your base? And if so, can they with your base? I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon, but it's good to know that it's on the board. Because it's one of those things that I'm sure a lot of people are like, Oh man, that'd be fun to do. Not me. Because I know that, like, we'd be going so, so very far. But it would be nice to have a fucking place to store items, wouldn't it? A place that I could, like, warp back to instantaneously. That wouldn't be that bad. And so if it was like that, considering our limitations of inventory, oh, I envy the people who play this game for the first time while having, like, infinite inventory space that they can just make. Yeah, sure, you have to do the travel time and instantaneous teleportation thing to it, which I'm sure will cost, like, end game resources, but whatever. Rather than storing everything in your ship, So how much gold do I have here? Uh, we have quite a bit, almost 50,000 units worth. That yeah, it is worth it. Oh, it's not really giving me as much gold, what? Give me the gold! Sometimes it just stops, it just gives up. Like, oh, that little piece, no, it's too small. Doesn't actually count as gold, that big piece up there what you need. Or it's just not showing me the updates, because we've gotten so much. Yeah, it's just doing that, by the looks of it. Alright, let's fly. Yeah, give me this. Or don't. Whatever. I don't want to blind them anyways. I like the name of this place. Raul Marsh. I mean, it doesn't really legitimately spell Raul, but I want to pronounce it that way. Maybe I can name this place Paul Marsh. Oh god, this shit again. <laughs> Don't know why that happens, but I accept it. I wonder if there are any, like, waterfalls in this game. We have... Lots of rivers and lakes and oceans, but waterfalls? I don't think I've seen any. Hmm. Show sure, Maxim, alright. What do beacons do again? Waypoint? Beacon. They kind of like pulse out. And I guess scan the area around them? Maybe. Advanced life form detected. Yeah, alright. So it scans the world and goes, Hey, there's a person over there! Check it out! And so I do. I don't need the power caster. I really don't think I've used it much. Here. I'm get rid of them, they're taking up a lot of space. Technology recharge. What does that sound? What the fuck was that? Was that the beacon? <laughs> was that the beacon turning off? Because that scared me. I thought I was being assaulted by a sentinel for a second. Uh, 
You can't trust these worlds, man. Especially when the things start getting big. We know from the trailers that there are like massive sentinel things. Not looking forward to those at all. Alright, do I have any? I have enough thamium for my launch thruster. No, we don't use thamium. We use plutonium. Oh, I'm fucked. Well, that's not gonna be good for me. I don't think I have enough to launch off again. But we have a monolith! And monoliths... generally have a good benefit? We haven't had one for a while. In a few hours. Whoa. This one's intense! Okay. Viking word for units? Ah, money! That's gonna be helpful. Unacceptable? I hope I never have to hear that. <laughs> and gas. Also hope I never have to hear that. What's going on with that icon? Oh, it's just trying to point me towards this, the life form. Okay. Legacy of Favesis. I place my palm on the monolith, then stand back when it melts in response to my touch. Molten rock drips down the stone, exposing a hollow interior. Inside, I see riches that are beyond belief, ancient technologies and cargoes that would aid my journey. Lava continues to drop, and the edifice seems unstable, but equipment that could aid me is within arm's reach. Suddenly, the voice of an ancient tribe shakes the ground I stand on. Viking agents, um... Viking ancients. They might not like me touching their stuff, but then the lava would melt it. Ancient knowledge and cargo that would aid my journey. I'm reaching in. Oh, well. The molten monolith collapses onto my exosuit. The edifice is reconstructed. The damage remains. So I took a bit of damage because of that. And my... My thing went down. Yeah, alright. That's a shame. I was hoping I'd get something out of it. Like, I'm not getting damaged, but absolutely nothing. I couldn't get, like, one piece of technology in time before getting fucked over. Okay. Awesome. Ugh. Where'd all my plutonium go? I used to have so much of it. And then I just burned it all doing stuff. Probably when I was on the aluminum planet. I definitely had a lot of aluminum there. Or, uh, pluton er, plutonium there. Oh. Another knowledge word. Somewhere nearby. How are you doing up there? Oh, I like the looks of this place. I wouldn't want to be down there, but I like the looks of it. Health at maximum. It didn't even, even damage my actual health. It just damaged my shield. Well, thanks for that suit. Too bad you couldn't protect me grabbing all the items inside. That's intense. I wonder if I could dig my way through that. <laughs> I like the idea of trying. I see more gold! I'm not going after it. Do I have any carbon at the moment? I do. Damn. I was going to try grabbing the... the carbon, seeing if I could get some crystals. Mm. I see you down there, plutonium. This is just very treacherous. And dangerous looking. But I'm never going to leave this planet if I don't go down. Also, hey, I very conveniently got out of the way of a storm. So it's good for me to be down here. Because it can't reach me. I think? Maybe I'm wrong about that. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm wrong about that. There we go. Hmm. 
Ooh, emerald. I need that. Uh, is there anything I can just dump off in the other area? Slightly. Okay. And we're close enough to my ship that I can fill it back up anyways. <sighs> the glory of caves! No matter where we go, we can trust them to help us out. And even give us a nice payout for themselves. If I collect like a shitload of this emerald. Have we seen any life on this planet? You know, besides the plant life? I don't think so. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. Oh, thank God. That looked like a figure just standing in the distance. It, it, like, even now, it looks like a shadowed person staring at me, ready to attack. But we're fine. Somewhat. <laughs> Very somewhat. Alright. So it doesn't bitch at me anymore. At least for a bit. I'm gonna try and uh, I'm gonna get loose a little bit more plutonium because uh, if I'm gonna be exploring planets a little bit more often, I'm gonna need to be able to lift off a little bit more conveniently. Because it kind of sucks going to planets and being like, oh, well, you landed four times. Haha, -ha, your fuel's gone. Okay. A couple more batches should do it. I see you. Can I reach that far? Mm, of course not! Oh yeah, the storm! Yeah, that's good. I like how it keeps going to my ship first. No, no, I'm good. I've got plenty of slots to grab all these crystals. And thankfully, no sentinels are attacking me! Maybe they're too busy dealing with the radiation storm! Not that, you know, they have to worry about it, they're robots. Although, with that said, pretty sure radiation's bad for robots, too. It's kind of like, uh... Like something out of the cave, the resources that the robots can be using anyways. Hard to be a very good defense drone if your armor is crumbling around you. <laughs> halt, citizen! Stop mining this planet! Did you just throw a rock? No! My weakness! Because my arm has been destroyed due to heavy radiation! Oh! Shh! You just came out from fucking nowhere! You're just a tad bit ridiculous. I mean, I'm just gonna say. Oh shit, there's another one. Hey! Uh, please don't alert more. Ah, fuck. Oh, he almost got it off, but he did it! Might as well grab the plutonium that I can see, right? <laughs> right, I'm really lazy, so I'm just gonna start digging my way back up. I like that this is generally a pretty smooth process. I don't really have to move my cross or anything, I just keep on spamming up. Eventually, we spot the surface. Oh, hi. Woo! Is that more emerald? Yes, it is. Oops. That was accidental. Legitimately, didn't mean to do that. I'm not trying to blow up the money, I'm trying to grab it myself. Let 
Interesting. So the only way you can move shit, you can move or remove dirt and stuff, is through the grenades. You want to mine your way through with the mining laser? Too bad. Oh, it's you. I need to learn to respect the culture of other species. I've been doing a pretty solid job with that, I'd like to imagine. Just this one time, I really wanted to grab what was inside. Even my character was like, I mean, those things could really help me out. Technology for my journey. I like advanced technology. Especially if I can actually make it. Oh, I like that. That was a quick landing sequence. I like the skies of places. They always look really different from each other. Whoa. Right, the experimental weapon terminals. The ones that are useless to me like this because, uh... I have a much better tool. It also just looks cooler. But it has eight slots. When am I going to be able to find a weapon I actually want to use? Hi. All right, well, I can't do much about that. Ah, that's a lie. All right, gold gone. Mm, below the galactic average. Not happy about that one. But I don't want to fill like up my inventory too much, so bye. At least it's not like negative 50% below the galactic average. Then you know you're fucked. All right. Howdy ho, friend. What do you got for me? Interloper. And see, now I'm not now, now I'm not a special relationship guy. I'm a close ally, and that makes me sad. A red jagged and recent bite mark is wrapped around the entirety of the warrior's neck. Claw marks have been dragged through its chest, and its suit's restoration and healing systems are blinking offline. The life form barks contentedly at me. Uh, satisfied with its narrow victory. It's clear, however, that its injuries are severe. It has trouble breathing. Well, give me a second. I have carbon here. It's having trouble breathing because its suit is running out of energy. But my carbon can help it. Recharge warrior suit. The warrior's healing systems come back online. It gives thanks to the gift of its multi-tool. Oh. It just straight up gives me its multi-tool. I... I'm, I'm gonna have to decline, I think. Just because mine's got a grenade launcher, and the bolt caster, and my analysis visor already in it. Though I do like the idea of the beam intensifier. If only I could take that. Sorry. Maybe you have something else for me, though? Teach me some words. Give me some supplies. The warrior looks as if it could glory in its ancestry at any given moment. Before it does so, however, it makes it clear that it is also willing to talk to me. Well, I guess I'll just request money. The warrior agrees to help. Thank you. Oh, yeah, that's fucking helpful. Ah, 730, that's gonna make... A life or death difference for things that cost like 500,000 resources. Absolutely. Thanks. I can't believe we just did that. It's fine, whatever. I'll make my own money in life. It's what I've been doing, it's what I'll continue to do. Oh, hey, I can open these now. Damn it. 
What is inside of these? Debris. Suspension fluid. Ooh. That's nice. I'll make it into uh, warp drive fuel if we need it. At this moment, I don't particularly need it. I trying to sell here? Uh, we got a couple. We have the shielding shard. Don't want that. I have yet to need that. But I'm sure I will at some point. Like, I'll be standing on a planet that just drains my shields rapidly within two seconds. I'm be sitting there going, oh god, I wish I had those five shielding shards I sold. Alright. We're good to go. We are good to go. We can leave this place. Maybe investigate a couple areas, because I do want to see if there's any upgrade stations on this planet. So I can upgrade my suit. I don't even know if I went to the upgrade station in the space station. In this particular area. Kind of forgot. I had food. Interesting. Don't know if there's anything worth that effort, so fuck that! <laughs> the last time I tried to go all the way down to the bottom of, like, the lake or ocean water, I got screwed over. It's time to continue my adventure to the center of the galaxy. We're no longer going to the Atlas stations. Because if I did that, then I'd be like eight jumps away from the black hole. And I don't need that. Especially since I was told that Atlas passes get better as we get close to the, cer the center of the universe. Or the center of the galaxy. So obviously it began to progress that way. <laughs> 